Red Nortus revealed for ASA Extinction. New wiki themes incoming. But where is Ark Survival Ascended details? You're right, kids, it's Ross Clark, and welcome to your regular Ark community news. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share around, and let's get into it. So, Community Crunch dropped last night with a lot of expectation for this one, me, myself included, and a lot of people believed, wondered, pondered, though weren't, suggested that we would get many Ark Survival Ascended details to know what exactly this game is and what to expect for it, even the trailer. I put a poll out for this and before the crunch came out, this was actually more in favour of yes and a lot of people, Neddy was very, very confident we're going to see it tonight and it made clear sense, you know, this is or feels like the last weekend before we're going to see Ark Survival Ascended. The devs have still been clear it's going to happen at the end of the month. And to be fair, there is another weekend until the end of the month drops. Though it's pretty much done by then, meaning it has to drop next week. Meaning this community crunch had to give us some details surrounding the game. And... Well, we didn't. We got a cool, awesome first look of the Dread Nortus, beautifully constructed by the team over there. And do like the look of this. It looks gigantic. It looks mean. It looks quite extinction themed with these blue hueish dots encompassing the spine as it runs down its back. Certainly looking the immensely powerful beast that we all expected. A two size comparison to a survivor means it's certainly a big one. That's what she said. And definitely looking to be bigger than a Bronto though not quite to the Titanic standards perhaps I had in my head. Would this have been a force to be reckoned with against the Titans of Extinction for Ark Survivor Ascended when that arrives to the plethora of maps sometime next year on top of an announcement to let us know the arc wiki page a great source for any arc information you really should be using it if you're not already i use it a lot myself i use it pretty much on the daily for anything related to arc they're gonna have a rebrand skin theme to each and every map where if it's extinction if it's aberration it will be a different color it's a cool thing and i think they're trying to get more people to work on this wiki page because it is a great source for information if you do want to get involved you simply got to become an editor or offer your feedback via the link in this post i'll leave one in the description for you to check out yourself and that was it no mention of arc survival ascended and upcoming stuff though it was said we're looking forward to the week ahead it's gonna be a fun one and the devs reiterated on Discord, I'm not sure how many ways I can say this coming week will be fun. Meaning, I guess, yeah, this week, Monday to Friday, Sunday to Friday, one of these, does it start tomorrow, does it start Monday, working week, maybe. Maybe the working week will entail. My guess is it's all surrounding the certification process of console to let Wildcard know when can they start rolling out the information because they know they've got a definite certain date. Certification must still be in process for this for console, and therefore, they just don't know if they want to jump the gun and start giving us information, and I'm guessing the next working day is Monday. Maybe they will have more information then to invite us into. Though, the response from the expectation of everybody thinking we were going to get so much information today was pretty lethal. Twitter was in meltdown with responses. The Discord went stupidly wild. A bit too far, if I'm being honest. There were far too many death threats in there. And as a result, there was like a five-hour cooldown on responses in the Discord. Yeah, I get it. I get the anguish. I get the passion. I get the frustration. And certainly feel some ownership in perhaps generating that excitement for this but damn man certainly feel disappointed i think most people generally does i think we all had an expectation for this trailer tonight why did we i was thinking about this why did we expect a trailer tonight whilst last weekend product manager dolly did say it's the crunch after i told you guys it's probably best to temper expectations i think that's what i lingered on in believing this weekend was going to be 
a big news weekend. And of course, Doug the Head has seen the trailer, put a post out on LinkedIn explaining that he's seen it and it looks great, making us believe we were going to see it as well. Well, nothing else has really suggested the trailer is or was going to be dropping to us last night. Looking at the trailers for every official DLC map for Ark Bar Scorched Earth, it was a very surprise release on the day. These were put to us, showed to us very early on, months, months before we got to see these play these in game. Perhaps that led to us assuming we were going to see a trailer much before Ark Survival Ascended. Though it's worth noting all of the free maps, we did get the trailer on the same day of launch. Tried to figure out if there was any comparatives with this, not really. You know, Ark Survival Ascended is its own different beast. I still do believe and side with Jade on a theory that perhaps there's some legal boundary tied to Microsoft Xbox on perhaps a Game Pass situation where they have to announce Game Pass at the same time and maybe as a result this is also hindering the process of why they can't show us too much. But yeah, nothing last night, not even a date or PC specifications is difficult to swallow. I shouldn't feel entitled, but just to know roughly, you know, what day we're looking at to kind of help create a schedule for is a huge benefit. And PC specs, there's been a lot of conversation surrounding this, a lot of people arguing, well, you've only got to look at the PS5 and Xbox Series X to figure out roughly what you need for a PC. And some saying, well, no, that's not the case at all. Either way, it'd be nice to get at least some heads up on those specs so if you need to get those parts you've got the time to get those parts dolly did say she gets the disappointment and has empathy but it's hard to feel upset along with us because they know how much is coming and how soon it is don't get them wrong they do have empathy for how excited some of us <laughs> have made ourselves for this crunch and they're not really pressed this next week is fire with jat jumping on in response to people apologizing for the community going a bit wild it's all good shows the excitement and as mentioned in the crunch next week is going to be fun and you know passion is passion i get people can get upset i am certainly upset with you i, I am i might look like a hyper man shelby all you ones but i am i'm a bit gutted we didn't get any details last night but you know let's just keep it a little bit grounded no need to shout abuse at the devs for this they are just simply humans after all and i'm sure the decisions that are happening are happening for a valid reason though what that is i do not know <laughs> i wish i did don't forget as we spoke in jade's stream this week atlas happened that wasn't the greatest launch surely they understand what went wrong there and don't want to replicate that there's a reason why everything is being pushed back i'm just really selfishly concerned it's going to get dropped on the day when we see all the details and i just need a bit of a heads up and I think I feel like most people do. But also equally wildcard have given us dates before and had to backtrack and postpone. And perhaps that's why they're not doing that either. I do think it's all surrounding this certification process. And once wildcard have got the heads up on how console is looking, maybe then we will get more details and a confirmed date. Next week could be the one where we get lots of stuff being shown. I'm very excited to see what's happening feel like i've waffled on long enough are you how are you feeling are you in denial are you excited comment below let me know i look forward to seeing what happens this week my name's ross clark don't forget to like share and subscribe and as always uh, peace out Zah.